Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 57 of Direwolf20's Age of Engineering series. Hey, you might notice a little something different in this room. There's a missing wall of stuff. Yes, uh, so between episodes, as promised, worked on a little bit of cleaning up, well, I mean, only a minor bit of cleaning up of the A system. I replaced a bunch of wiring um, with, with, with the um, smart cables so we can see channels and all that good stuff pretty much everywhere. Um, and then down here is where I decided to set up my wall of item storage, right down in my generator room. Um, the reason I decided to go with this location uh, as opposed to down here, I was thinking about doing it in this wall. Um, as you can see, I even cleared out the area in advance. Um, decided that it wasn't really gonna fit in this small space, so I wanted a larger space with which to put it, and here's what we came up with. So uh, I've got a bunch of item storage dudes sitting here. Uh, we put a, some storage upgrade diamond tier into most of the ones that we care a lot about. So things like netherrack are just voiding, so we keep 2048 of those, right? Um, you know, and I've got just pretty much a bunch of stuff, right? But like important stuff like redstone and, and coal and all that good stuff, we're putting uh, the, the at least one diamond upgrade so it can hold lots and lots of stuff. So for example, like, uh, you know, copper, we've got a little over 8,000 copper ingots, so we're doing uh, not so bad. We've got lots and lots of good things. Um, and that's what I worked on uh, between episodes, kind of just made sure I had a nice storage system handled down here, got the storage bus all hooked up, um, you know, removed all the stuff from upstairs, uh, did a little bit of auto crafting setup, and then I extended the uh, hallway here so that we have now a way into our mechanism room that doesn't require a staff of traveling, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so, that all said, uh, we now have the opportunity to start playing with mechanism a bit. Uh, and it's time for me to learn how mechanism works, because I don't know that mod all that well. Uh, like I said and, and mentioned to you guys already, I have not done a good job of uh, following this mod's progress. I've, I've played with it once or twice, but I've never really done like a full, like, let's check this mod out all the way kind of thing. And that's what I definitely want to do uh, as part of the series. So, that said, let's kind of start off by taking a look at, I wouldn't mind just investigating what the 5XOR processing process is like, just so we can see it. Um, and I wanna see if it'll work with the moon-based ores and, and the other um, planet-based ores. According to JEI, it doesn't, and they're really the only ores that I would care to 5X multiply, um, because those are the ones that I'm currently, the only ones that I need to manually go mine, right? Um, so we'll see if it's worth doing. Like for me, just because of the current stage of the game that I'm at, we've got a stupid amount of resources for anything. Oh look, my marble and stuff already did that thing. Break or play, there we go, all fixed. Um, so we've already gotten, you know, courtesy of this thing, which is pulling up just a silly amount of resources and it's great. Uh, pretty much like we get a random ore of some type every second. Um, so just by virtue of the fact that it's sitting there running, we don't need to worry about stuff. So I don't need a 5x ore multiplier unless it can 5x ore multiply uh, the, the planetary ores that we've discovered. Uh, we've got a basic heat generator going on here um, with the ender tank. We will probably expand and get more mechanism-based power at some point. Because remember, mechanism has its own power system defined in this pack. There is probably a config option that's disabled that allows mechanism to run off RF or EU. So no can do in this pack because uh, he wants you to have some fun dealing with multiple power systems. And that's cool by me, because I like that. Um, so that all said, refined obsidian, hey, is something that we're gonna need to work on. So apparently refined obsidian is required to get into um, some kind of stuff, some kind of draconic stuff, right? So if we wanna get to Wow, you require a quantum entangled singularity for each draconic core? Really? And end diamonds? Really? For each draconic core? You gotta be kidding me. Each one? Oh brother, that is pain. That is pain. For each draconic core? Cause you use draconic cores a lot in draconic evolution. Like a lot, a lot. That is painful. Well, uh, now that we know that, <laughs> let's hook this thing back up. Um, where is my wrench? Yeah, you probably got swapped out at some point. Uh, so you're probably going ham on the production of power over here and, and you, you matter. Again, the main purpose of this whole power dump down here, 
making you you matter is like a secondary purpose at this point really it's all about the plutonium that we're getting and it's fully automated to the point where we're getting looks like a decent amount of tiny plutonium so that's nice um i don't know if i even showed this on camera but like this guy keeps in stock 21 quad fuel rods and like we have you know some machines that know how to make fuel rods and everything it knows how to make them right here uh and then we just item duct in and out of this thing so we insert an extract etc etc um, so that said, let's put this on insert so that you can at least start counting up again. Um, that is a lot. Uh, east, we've got item speed upgrades. Because remember, these guys produce a lot of cobble. I might need to ramp this up, believe it or not. We've already got four singularities, so that turns into eight entangled singularities, which are going to be required for... Yeah, I'm just thinking about what's involved in crafting those Draconic Cores, like, in an auto-crafting kind of way. And it's a little bit scary. So we'll figure something out. Um, so mechanism. Yeah, so refined... I got sidetracked. Uh, osmium compressor. Osmium plus refined iron dust. And iron dust come... Or obsidian dust requires a metallurgic infuser of obsidian dust from Ender.io, for example, and refined... And, uh diamond dust okay so let's try and use like all mechanism based stuff so i could do an enrichment chamber um to compress uh diamonds into that so an enrichment chamber requires steel casing and a and a basic thing here's a metallurgic infuser it looks like these control circuits are or dictionaried with uh electronic circuits from industrial craft so i'd like to teach the system how to make these guys um it looks pretty easy osmium plus redstone I don't know why it like works with a block of redstone or an, a piece of redstone. Like those aren't equivalent usually. Uh, so that's cool. Metallurgic infuser. So let's get ourselves a furnace times two. And let's get ourselves a steel casing. Uh, missing an osmium block. Uh, you should be missing an osmium block. Probably an or dictionary issue. Uh, steel casing. Let's uh, put this in here. There we go. Re-encode that guy. So um, no longer do I have to craft redstone block, ingot block, redstone blocks or iron blocks or any other blocks because I got the door compressors going. So now I should be able to do a steel casing without much issue. Sweet. And you are crafting some titanium ingots, which you will then stamp up, etc. To this day, this bothers me. Do it properly. Oh, that's right, I turned on my glider. Um, so, metallurgic infuser is the first thing. Oh, we're gonna need more stainless. That shouldn't be too bad to make. Um, it's just, you know, some chrome, zirconium, and steel inside the thing. Stainless steel, stainless steel, where did you go? Didn't you just finish crafting some? Oh, maybe you were crafting other things. Come on, buddy. There we go. Nice, metallurgic infuser. Cool. Now, uh, mechanism also has its own power transfer conduits. Um, basic, universal cables, advanced, elite, and ultimate. These are the things that are transferring of power. Um, so this is stainless steel plates. This requires an enriched alloy, which requires a metallurgic infuser. Um, so let's start with this one, and this one requires those. So if we're going to be crafting these later, we need to teach it how to craft this anyway. So let's teach you how to make the ne mechanism cables. Does that sound cool? Uh, nice. Stainless steel plate. Make one of these for me, please. Thank you. Sweet. So my goal, like I said, is to kind of, you know, have all the mechanism things. Just get like 20 of those. That should be fine. Um, and the other thing from mechanism that we're going to want is there's some kind of power storage thing um, that can store jewels. We'll probably want to have that. Uh, I think it's this. 
Yeah. So it's some kind of multi-block. That's all I know. Um, and I might need to go look up a guide online somewhere to, to figure that out. Okay, so we've got our universal cables. Now I'm not sure if these guys are sided in terms of where their cables can connect. The answer is yes. Nice, that was kind of cool. Um, so with that said, can I rotate you? Does mechanism have a wrench? It's a configurator? That might be what I'm looking for. But that is a bunch of stuff that I can't make just yet. Um, really, really need to look into mechanisms online guides, if there is one. I'm assuming there is. Um, not seeing anything wrench-like. Smart wrench, power wrench, 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 IC2 wrench. Hammer core, forestry, extreme reactors, extra utilities, and IO, chisel and bits, calculator, applied energistics, and actually additions. All right, so let's, um, for now, right, obviously this isn't going to be our long term. So you've got power going, sweet. So our metallurgic infuser, sidedness config, transporter config, nice. I got to look at transporters and mechanism because I've heard that they're pretty cool. Um, disable upgrades, oh, neat, nice. That's cool. So upgrades, I assume, speed. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so into that metallurgic infuser, if we want to get things like enriched alloys, it's redstone and iron. So let's see what this looks like, redstone and iron. And at some point, obviously, we will be setting up some auto crafting with this stuff. Oh, I see. Redstone goes in here, okay. Cool. That's why redstone blocks or redstone ingots and individual dusts can go in there. When you put redstone in, it kind of, I don't know, melts it down, if you will, and uh, stores it in an internal buffer. So if I put a block in there, we can put nine ingots. That's cool. All right. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so refined dust here. Metallurgic infuser, which we've just got. So we're probably going to need multiple metallurgic infusers, or we need to be extremely careful about how much stuff we put in there, right? Um, so if I wanted to get a compressed diamond, we need an enrichment chamber. So we're going to want two of these guys, which is redstone and osmium. Redstone and osmium. Today on Direwolf's channel, we learned how mechanism works. So see, it stored 20 redstone in there, and then putting the osmium in is when it does the work. Okay, cool. I mean, not that we aren't already, in a very fast way, auto-crafting circuits. These are obviously an easier crafting recipe than industrial craft circuits, but at the same time, we have industrial craft circuits auto-crafting, and it's faster than this. Uh, but I'm assuming there's speed upgrades and stuff, and because I kind of want to learn mechanism, I kind of want to, like, not use the industrial craft circuits that we already have auto-crafting, right? Um, and because I'm also doing a bad job of remembering which things I need, compressed diamond enrichment chamber, this should be cool. So a steel casing here, and you should be good. Nice. Just to speed up the process a little bit. So you are doing stuff and things. Stored, 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 scheduled. So you're making your stainless steel ingots, and then you're making your plates. Cool. Come on, buddy. There you go. Nice. And as promised, we will eventually figure out how to move this thing. Enrichment chamber. Nice. So now if I were to just grab a diamond... So same kind of deal. Upgrade, sidedness config, power use, all that good stuff. So are we producing more power? Yeah, I think so. We're doing good on power. So then you can be used with obsidian dust in a metallurgic infuser. Now, out of curiosity, how do we get obsidian dust in mechanism? For that, there is a machine. The, the enrichment chamber. Okay, we get two obsidian dust. Or the crusher, yeah, enrichment chamber is how you turn obsidian into dust. Now, out of curiosity, 
just cuz. Um, don't we get more obsidian? Sagmel we get four from. Do I already have you making obsidian dust? Yes. That'll work. So let's just try this out and see how it works. So apparently we put this in here, that gets me 80 diamonds. How many diamonds to obsidian ratio do we need for this thing? Uh, it would be one. So eight obsidian dust. Okay, cool. Looking good. So that should come up with a bunch of refined obsidian dust, which I can then smelt or do whatever I want. Or osmium compressor, it. that's right. So we need an osmium compressor. So we need four enriched alloys, and the rest doesn't seem too bad. Oh, and we need advanced control circuits. Cool. And that is uh, redstone and iron. So let's get a redstone and iron times nine. So in theory, this should work once this is all cleared out. Um, and then osmium compressor also needs advanced circuits. So this is two enriched alloys, a basic control circuit, and two tantalum plates. Okay. I mean, I could make advanced circuits, obviously, from IC2, but I just want to try this out. So tantalum, I'll just have to teach plates for tantalum. Um, shouldn't be too bad. Nifty. So there we should have 90, and that should get us that stuff. Uh, tantalum, how's our tantalum situation? So we're going to have to teach you how to make tantalum plates. Tant alum plates so block cutting machine from ic2 can do it in a block form metal former obviously compressor from tech reborn can do it rolling machine or metal press i don't think i have a plate based metal press over here in fact i'd be really shocked if i did because i've got the really fast plate machine but as we learned last episode i'm out of inventory slots over there so let's replace the tin one for now and we'll teach it how tantalum works and uh we will deal with the fact that we need more auto crafting slots there later uh so tantalum plate we will tell you how to make that in this mode tantalum equals tantalum plate tantalum looks exactly like iron and that is going to mess with me um, tantalum plate. So we'll take out Tin's recipe and we'll put in Tantalum's recipe for now. So now, um, what I should be able to do is come over here and get this. You're almost done. Cool. So if I need an osmium compressor, Right? We need these guys. So let's teach this. How these guys work. Uh, didn't I make one of those basic dudes? Or did I use it? It is redstone and osmium. And at some point, obviously, we will... Um, we will wind up auto-crafting with this stuff, right? Okay, so I just want to get some auto crafting recipes programmed in here. Obviously not all of them. So now you know how to make one of these. I'll have to teach you the, the prerequisites, obviously, but we'll get to that. Cool. Um, so let's get like one of you and some osmium. I don't suppose I can do an osmium blocks worth all at once. Nope, but I can convert it into that. And that should be cool. Alright, so while that's cooking, I only need one more of those, and I should be able to get the osmium compressor. So I need two of you. Missing four of these. So two of you. 
And then I should be able to get Osmium Compressor. Nice. We'll just need another steel casing. Which luckily we have on on all craft. And there we go. Sweet. Osmium Compressor. Nice. So now I can use you in the Osmium Compressor with Osmium. So I can get this to get compressed obsidian. But I can use that with Osmium to get refined obsidian ingots, which I can then use to make draconic stuff. Which I'm not going to do just yet. I'm going to hold off on draconium for a bit. So I assume I stick you in there and you in there, and then you guys can go. Now let's see, is it one-to-one -one dust? It looks to be. I hope it is. Looks like it's almost a little bit more. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yes, as expected. Uh, oh, wait. So that's not an even one-to-one, -one, it looks like. That's weird. So it liquefies the osmium, it looks like. So we'll probably want to just keep... So for this, what we'll want to do for auto-crafting is we'll want to keep a steady supply of the refined iron dust. And to auto-craft, we just put an osmium ingot in and we'll get a refined iron out. That's probably the way we'll want to tackle that dude. Okay, cool. Um, so those are some basic machines from Mechanism. Let me go look into more. All right, guys. So digging through the mod a little bit. Uh, there's a few things we'll probably want to get working on. Uh, one is I'd like to make a configurator, but I'm also going to need to make energy tablets. Now, energy tablets are used for a handful of devices, it would appear. Uh, I may want these on autocraft. The problem is they're kind of expensive. Um, so they require a battery from each uh, of uh, industrial craft, calculator, and neotech mods. Um, Battery here is not too bad, except for the fact that it requires, uh, oh, did I not ever teach you how to make that? It requires tin item casings, which, you know, we just took the tin plate mold out of the metal former. Uh, so we're gonna have to do something about that um, for auto crafting purposes. Um, what are we at with plates here? Plates, um, yeah, we, we use a lot of these. Um, I don't know if we use gold plates all that much. So let's try and swap that one out. Pattern for tin plates. Uh, but then we also need, you know, the, the the tin item casing, which needs to go through the metal former as well. So we'll have to see about that. Um, maybe we'll do this. And what we can do is say tin plate equals tin item casings. So one tin plate yields two tin item casings um and at some point we will need to get a second metal former or at least a second interface on the existing metal former to deal with all that um but then the more troublesome part uh of this is this guy so he's a little bit annoying to craft um we are getting small amounts of him but not in a reliable way out of here um you do use these power cubes, which we've been getting over here, so that's at least kind of nice. You scientific calculator a power cube together. So that saves me the trouble of having to craft this, though this crafting recipe is not bad at all. So if I did have to craft it, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. Um, so we're going to have to do a little bit of auto crafting. Do we have a scientific calculator in here? We do. Um, and what was the name of... Uh, hey, you go back in there. This block again. Uh, the docking station... Yeah, so that was a crash. <laughs> um, but that's okay. I'll fix now. So let's get ourselves another docking station with our scientific calculator. And I'm thinking I should be able to put it right here. Um, now for the scientific calculator, which we're going to pop right into here. Cool, cool, cool. So that will also kind of work like... Hey, let me out of there. So I'm going to see if I can do this with the same interface, and that would be cool. 
Uh, if I can't, then that's okay. Uh, we'll see if we can do it with whitelisting, okay? So item conduits and filters is what we're gonna need. Um, so item conduits, filters, well, we're gonna need hoppers first. Let's just make like 10 of them. And then we're gonna need uh, two more sets of filters. And what we'll do is basically this, this, and this. And on the south side, which I assume is this direction, yes, because that's the side it is here, um, you're going to be insert filtered, and you are going to be insert filtered, and you'll be down here, extract on brown, always active. Cool. Um, now, if I want a energy doohickey from calculator, so calculator's little energy module thing, what are the exact sequence of crafting steps for this to work? Let's try module, see if I can find it over there. There it is, energy module. So we already have a bunch of these, so I'm not gonna teach you how to craft these yet. Um, but purified coal requires enriched coal, which is in a regular calculator, coal coke and coal dust. That thing that I like stopped farming last episode? Yeah, well we have a bunch, so we can say that, you know, these two, Um, so I'm going to say on the insert south, you can have coal, and on the north, you can have this. So if I put these guys in here, nice. So that is enriched coal. Okay, so that's auto crafting that. And then enriched coal uh, can combine in a scientific calculator for purified coal, which is then combined in a scientific calculator for the energy module. So, um, so this guy combines with enriched gold, which I should teach it how to make. Uh, but for now, we will just do this plus this. And this goes into a scientific calculator. So on the south side, we will put enriched coal. And on this side, we will put you. So if I put these two in here now, they should go into here. Enrich coal, enrich coal. So it has to be on the right side. Okay, cool. So that actually does matter that we put it in the right sides. Neat. Now you work? Oh, you have no energy. <laughs> it would help if I hooked you up with power, huh? Yay, purified coal. So now purified coal is here, right? And then finally we can combine you in a scientific calculator with a power cube. Just one, thank you very much. So you are off the south side, we're gonna put this and the power cube can go here. So this is purified, this is enriched. Just wanna make sure that we're not like doubling anything up at any point. No, I shouldn't have put a whole stack in there. Not that it matters, but you get the gist. Sweet energy module. So of course you filled up with power, but I don't think that will matter. I really hope it doesn't. Uh, let's put this away for a second. Let's just to be safe, and because it's not that expensive, uh, purified, I should put you down here. Um, yeah, these two. So if I at this point request a purified, that should be crafting. Nice. Let's just get a new one of these so that we don't actually charge up the energy module. There, that's what I want. Zero RF. Cool. And I'll get my battery back now. Nice. Okay, cool. So we've got that crafting now. Uh, then the other thing that I need 
um, for energy module to be used in crafting for this guy. So uh, we need to teach you how to make rechargeable batteries and ad advanced RF batteries. So advanced RF batteries, we have one of, because I was testing this at some point. Um, you just need regular anyway crystals, right? So let's just teach you real quick this. And I should be able to, well, I'll craft one. And then you are just gold, silver, and lead in addition to the battery we just crafted, which is you. Sweet. And then the last battery we need to teach you how to make is this one. Which shouldn't be too bad. Cool. Um, and then we should be able to make everything we need for a configurator thingy. So that's this. All right, so the last part of this energy tablet is powdered cadmium, which I'm hoping that I can turn into powdered cadmium in a sag mill. I cannot. So you might have to get crushed in a crusher. Yep. OK, so real quick this pattern here into the same one that makes uh, these guys, dilithium dust and coal dust. Cool. Uh, so put this away. So a tablet like that, we now have the pattern for. Sweet. I just need to teach it how to make enriched alloys next which shouldn't be too bad. But I want to get this configurator first. Um, so I got a bunch of enriched alloys. So can I make a configurator now? Let's put all this stuff away. OK. Um, so we should be able to say, can you make me a tablet, please? And should be ready to make that pretty quickly. Shouldn't take too long. Sweet. So we've got one. And now configurator, which is kind of like the wrench, or a wrench, if you will. Sweet. Now I'm assuming that you won't charge off RF, and that's okay. I should be able to get you in here to charge. Nice. State, configurate items. So this thing apparently works kind of like the wrench um, of any other mod, but it does like more too. So you can like assign input and output sides with it. So you can see like that's the red side and you can see that. Um, side config, right? Red, blue, green, purple, etc. Um, and then you can change it if you want. Input dark red. Uh, neat. Output dark blue, energy green, extra purple. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, now there's a hotkey for mechanism. Uh, item mode strip switch is apostrophe. Ah, there we go. Shift apostrophe will switch it. I don't like that. Configurate fluids, configurate gases, configurate energy, heat, empty, rotate, wrench. Neat. So I want to change that hotkey uh, pretty quickly. Um, but if I rotate you now, like, can you? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So you don't work that way, but. Shift right click, so it works kind of like IC2 machines, where right clicking on a side of a block will specify it to rotate in that direction. And shift right click opposite direction. Interesting. Now if I put you in wrench mode, cool. Oh, I like wrench mode. That works a lot better. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep you in wrench mode for sure. Cool. Now um, can I? Can I rotate you in such a way that you're going to face up and down? I'm thinking the answer is no. All right, good to know. So I guess the last thing I want to make is an energy cube. Is that correct? So a basic energy cube requires two tablets. 
So let's see how good of a job I did in setting this up. Enriched alloys is the only thing you can't make at the moment. Enriched alloys is what again? Iron and redstone? We'll just get a block and a block of iron. Now what kind of speed upgrades can I put in these things? From mechanism. Osmium dust and quite clear glass, is that it? Clear glass? Any kind of glass it looks like? Enriched alloy? Osmium dust? Let's see if I can get you in a sag mill. Yes? Yes. Cool. So let's do osmium becomes osmium dust. And a sag mill. Cool. And let's teach actually the speed upgrade. Glass. Let's just use regular glass if we can. Please and thank you. I made two of these, didn't I? Dire derps! I have no idea what kind of speed upgrade we will get out of this, but we're gonna take a look. Sweet. Oh, there's a muffling sound. That's cool. Uh, so out of curiosity, Let's get a few more speed upgrades. Yes, I can get five more. Awesome. And we'll see what this looks like. I have no idea like what it's going to do in terms of power use and how much faster the machines will be. But hopefully, uh, we will see if it's better. Cool. Ah, eight is the max. And you can see the effect right there. Nice. Well, that's cool. We're wrecking our power usage, but we're speeding it up now, at least. And then clicking this button. Cool. So let's put one more in there. So that's a four out of eight. All right, four is too much. But three seems to be, we have enough power for three. I thought we had enough power for three. Hey, you know what? You might have emptied out your internal buffer. That's the problem. Yeah. So we'll hold off on speed upgrades until we get an energy cube. I think that would be smart. But at least we know how to make them, and they don't seem too bad. Um, so a cube requires two tablets. Start. And we should be able to see all the crafting operations happening, right? So you're, you know, doing that, you're getting your batteries, you're getting your energy modules. Cool, 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 cool. Um, and then we should be able to get an energy cube. We just need another steel casing, which I should have kicked off a minute ago while I was waiting for other things to craft, but that's okay. Nobody ever said I was good at this game. Steel casings, go. And that should be pretty close to being done. Right? Should be. The alloy smeltery definitely takes a moment with uh, that thing. So this is an energy cube. It should be able to hold. So let's just take a look at our metrics right now. You're capable of holding, I think you are 160 kilojoules. This can hold two million joules. And this is the basic energy cube. There are also advanced energy cubes, um, which seem to just be another tier. And that holds eight million. So do we have for some more enriched alloys? We might. Do I have enough to get two more tablets? Needs more enriched alloys. I might do this real quick. Iron ingot. Do, 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 do. Can you at least take one speed upgrade? Alright, so that should be the last of the enriched alloys that we need. So then if we do this, we can get an advanced energy cube that can hold 8 million joules. Sweet! And the next tier uh, requires reinforced alloys. 
uh, which are apparently compressed diamond in a metallurgic infuser with the merchant alloys. So what I'll probably want to do, uh, I don't know all the different types of metallurgic infusers we'll need, but so far it's at least diamond and redstone. Uh, so I'll probably have two of these on auto crafting. So that's like kind of a plan. But now we've got an energy cube, sweet, that can store energy. Well, that's fancy. I like it. Um, so I think that's pretty neat. Oh, and look at the time. I'm having so much fun. I am well past wrapping up points. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. We will come back next time. Uh, let's start next time. I'm going to, in between episodes, I'm going to clear out a basement under this room. And uh, we will store uh, power generating machines under there and the energy cube uh, so that we can store our power downstairs. And then... Um, we will come back next episode and start automating some mechanism machines and getting ready to auto craft some things. And I'd also like to check out the um, logistical item transport stuff that this thing has. So there's logistical transporters. I need to look into what they uh, what they do and how they work because they look neat. For now, Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know the deal. Take it easy.